build up our strength challenges for the families in Vietnam are many. But I think one of the challenges is the fact many young people have to leave the countryside, their family, their parishes, uh, to go to the cities for the studies or for the work. Therefore, uh, there will be many temptations in the places in the cities where they stay, they live, they work and they study. And there's a certain um, a way they are away from their family. And this is certainly is one of the difficulties. But it seems to me, uh, for the moment, um, the people, the young people, uh, can overcome these difficulties because in the cities, they gather together as uh, Catholic students or Catholic uh, workers, they've helped each other and they are inserted in the parishes in the city where they come to stay. Yes, uh, for the Synod as the Holy Father has said in the homily on Sunday, we have to listen to the Holy Spirit. So we hope that we all will be open to the inspiration which the Holy Spirit will stir in our hearts as our Synod Fathers so that we can um, make some decision or uh, some message according to the wisdom of God. But for myself, I have a wish that this Synod will give an uh, encouragement to all the current families those families who are living the faith can be encouraged to be uh, more fervent in their in, uh, commitment to live the faith in their family. Those who are, uh, div have difficulties in the family will be encouraged to find again the grace, the help of God so that they can be faithful and happy in their family life according to the plan, I would say, to the dream of God for the a marriage in for the family. À, tôi xin uh, có lời kính chào tất cả mọi anh chị em Việt Nam và tôi xin uh, có lời uh, cảm ơn tất cả các gia đình Công giáo Việt Nam đang uh, sống đức tin và làm chứng cho Chúa Giêsu trước mặt mọi người qua việc trung thành ở trong đời sống uh, gia đình, đời sống hôn nhân và không những chỉ hôn trung thành mà hạnh phúc trong đời sống hôn nhân và gia đình Công giáo. Tôi xin hết lòng cảm ơn.